Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. Today I'm coming at you from our Coventry location with another how-to video. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to do the Seachem Iron Test Kit. So like always, when you purchase a new test kit, the first thing you're going to want to do after you take it home is open it up and make sure everything that is supposed to come in the kit is present. So in the iron test kit, you are going to have two plastic cuvettes and lids. You are going to have a sample pipette. You are going to have one small scoop. You're going to have a test plate. You're going to have both a powder and a liquid reagent, as well as your color test chart with a little sliding indicator that changes color based on the result of your test. You are also going to have an instruction manual. Besides that, the only other thing you are going to need is the water that you are going to be testing. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to start with iron reagent one, which is going to be your powdered reagent. So the first thing you are going to do is you are going to take your small scoop and add one level measure of the powder to one of the test wells. So the next thing you are going to do is you're gonna take your pipette and you are going to take the water that you are testing you are going to fill the pipette up to the base of the bulb with the water that you are testing and you are going to put it into the cavity. And you are actually gonna do this twice. Next, you are going to stir that cavity with the straight end of the spoon. Next, you are going to leave the cavity alone for about two to five minutes for the color to develop. Except if you are using chelated iron, you are going to want to wait and let the color develop for a full 30 to 45 minutes. So that is the first type of test that comes with the kit. That is for testing a normal range of iron. Next, we are going to do the low range of iron if you are trying to test for a lower value. For this test, the first thing you are going to do is you are going to take your iron one powdered reagent and add one level scoop into the cuvette. One thing I do want to note is that the cuvettes do have a slightly rounded bottom, so just be very, very gentle with them and do not accidentally bump them because they can tip over very easily. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your sample pipette and you are going to fill your cuvette to about one centimeter from the top with the sample that you are testing. After you fill your cuvette up, you are going to cap it and you are going to invert a few times to mix. Then you are going to fill your blank cuvette with just straight water and that is going to act as your blank sample that you are going to use to compare colors. You are going to let this sit and read about five to 10 minutes after you finish. Once again, if you have chelated iron, you are going to let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes to fully read the color as well. After you get your results for this, you are going to divide your results by four and that is going to be the level of iron in your kit. All right, welcome back. It has been roughly about a half an hour since I did this test. The reason I decided to wait the full 30 minutes is that after about five, 10 minutes, I did not notice any noticeable shift in color. So I've come to the conclusion that we use chelated iron in the display tanks at our Coventry location. So I decided to give it the full 30 minutes to get the full color change that we want to exhibit. Now, because iron is so low in concentration in the average aquarium, the color shift may not be registrable on camera. It is very, very faint. On the chart here that comes with the kit, it goes from zero all the way up to two. But in the average aquarium, especially the average planted aquarium, if you are dosing iron regularly, you want to be between 0.1 and 0.2, or even sometimes lower, which is on the lowest end of the spectrum. So no matter what your iron concentration is, it is going to come out as a very, very faint hue. So judging by the chart that we have and the hue that is in our test well, I would have to determine that the iron levels in our tank are probably going to be between 0.05 and 0.1, maybe be a little bit lower than that. And that is when reading the normal range kit. Now, if we come to our low range cuvettes, the way that you are going to want to read this is that you want to put them on a solid white surface. You want to remove the lids very carefully and also be careful because they like to tip over very easily. And you are going to look from the top down against the white surface because that will give you the most amount of water to look through to notice the most amount of color difference. Now, when I am looking through the top down in our cuvettes, I have noticed that there is almost no color change. So that is letting you know that the iron is very, very, very low in the tank that I am sampling. I am sampling one of our planted displays at our Coventry location. I do know that it has been almost about a week since it has been dosed with iron because we had a funky scheduling week. So I do know that the tank needs to be dosed today for certain, but I do know that there is iron present because if there was no iron present in the water sample, 
then it would have a yellowish hue to the sample, which ours currently does not exhibit. Overall, what this has led me to believe is that our iron is very, very low in the tank that I did the low range sample on. It's actually almost to the point that I can't even distinguish any sort of color. So I would say we were probably below 0.05, and then you want to divide that result by four to get the result for the low range kit. So I would have to come to the conclusion that we are about 0.0125 or even a little bit lower for the iron in that tank, which is definitely very, very low. So I'm going to let Eli know that he needs to dose a little bit more iron and bump that up a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching and like always, keep it fishing.